Okay, folks, let me talk about some of the advanced options in Microsoft Teams for notification personalization. So the first thing I want to focus on is under the Teams and Channels section in the notification section, you can go ahead and uh, click on custom. And this will bring up a page where you'll be able to see and change uh, different options on how notifications show up. And you can change them to be either banner and feed or only showing in the feed. And what do I mean by that? So a banner notification is the Indigo pop-up that you see uh, typically in the bottom right corner of your screen when you get a notification. That's a banner notification. A feed notification are the numbers that you see. Uh, typically red that you'll see on the left side of your screen next to where uh, in Microsoft Teams it says activity, chat, teams, and whatnot. So those are feed. They're a little bit less uh, intrusive, but uh, as a consequence, you might not necessarily see every feed notification, whereas banners are boom right in your face. Uh, so you can go ahead and customize that. So for example, uh, maybe I don't want to see every single uh, immediate team mention. I can show that as only in my feed. Uh, and keep banner and feed for when people mention me directly. Uh, and then maybe I can turn off likes and reactions completely off, right? I don't need to know when people like things. Now, beyond that, you'll see the shown and pin channel section where you can quickly customize specifics for those shown and pinned channels. What do I mean by that? So if you go to the left side of the screen here where it says uh, pinned, under teams here that is because i went into my x2050 launch team team and i right clicked where it says design and then i clicked on pin right now it says unpin because i already pinned it but that makes sure that it's always at the top of my screen because i want to make sure that i'm looped in and i have quick access to the design channel so in the custom settings i can actually make it where if i want a pinned channel to always give me notification to what's going on, I can turn that on. So all new posts to the design channel, I can turn that on to banner and feed, and I can make it where it includes all the replies here, and I can even make it to where every time that channel's mentioned, I get a notification as well. So this is how you can customize things to how you use Microsoft Teams and like maybe the specific channels that you're working with. Now, going back to the notification settings, we can scroll down uh, beyond the Teams and Channel section and click on chat. Uh, so I can go ahead and change the same thing. Like if I want banner and feed for chats, not just Teams, I can change those notifications. I can go to meetings and calls. So let's say I don't want any notifications during a meeting and call, I can turn that on. So that way, if you're presenting, you don't have to worry about notifications popping up and potentially distracting you. And uh, you can even change the meeting start notification to be off or on, uh, where it says the meeting has started and you know, the little boop boop, where you get that, that uh, sound. And then the meeting chat notifications, you can unmute or mute uh, if you want. So uh, for example, I, I know we've all been on those big team meetings where we get a ton of chat notifications. This is where you can change those settings. Another cool feature is the, the people section. So you can actually get a notification every time someone changes their availability status. So if you have a specific person that you're like, oh wow, I really need to work with this person, but they're on lunch, I need to know as soon as they come back, you can set that up. So let's see if I, I think Christy, let's see, I think she's in here. Um, so I can turn on Christy and search for her. And now I'll get a notification uh, next time Christy uh, is online. You can even see that I just got the notification saying that Christy's offline for now, but next time she logs in, I'll get a notification saying she's available and I'll be able to quickly message her uh, rather than having to necessarily wait until she comes back to read my message. So those are all the global notification settings in Microsoft Teams, but you can actually get even more granular and specific by using channel notifications. So if I go to a team that I have and I wanna change the notification section for a specific channel, let's go to Digital Assets Web here and the X2050 launch team. If I click on the little more options button, you'll see there's a channel notification section and I can now turn that off or all activity or just like I showed you before, we can go to that custom page I showed you before where I can set up all new posts or whatnot all from there. 
So you can get very specific. So let's say you're in a team with a whole bunch of different channels and you want all the notifications for one, but you don't really care about the other. Uh, or if you are in like seven different teams, you don't want any notifications from any of them because you're just overloaded. You can get very specific to how you set up your notifications.